And we have returned from our extended vacation. Uh, back to continue through week seven here in EGFC. It's Jeff and Billy coming at you with our second match. We got North Dakota taking on Butler Blue. Uh, this one, this one's going to tell us a lot, Billy. There's there's some interesting storylines on both sides. Well, I tell you what, uh, my blue collar bulldogs out of Butler uh, are definitely looking to solidify themselves here in the standings. Uh, five and two record is absolutely going to make their playoff push uh, dreams come hot, come true. And Morales, Munch, and Kai for Butler, uh, some of my favorite gamers here in the scene. That's an early goal out of Morales, and uh, wow. I mean, just right off the bang, Kai pushing in, Morales gets the loose ball, buries it in the back of the net. But, you know, the storyline that we're looking at here is do the Fighting Hawks here replicate what they did to Cincinnati last week? We saw Buddy Bowler and Zoom Gamer and Turtle Sir really bring together uh, a comprehensive uh, performance and take a map off of previously undefeated Cincinnati. We saw them leave, lose earlier today. But uh, Butler, you know, Butler grinds a lot more. It's not the flashy stuff that comes out of Butler. Butler grinds. They get in there. They get their hands dirty. They go in for a lot of contact. They go in for a lot of touches, and they earn their goals. So this is a different com opponent completely than Cincinnati, uh, which the Fighting Hawks, you know, once again, took a map off them in the 1-3 loss last week. So they're going to have to really match the, uh, the frenetic pace that, well, Butler will bring out here 2-0, 45 seconds in. Yeah, good start for the Bulldogs. As you mentioned, North Dakota was kind of led by Buddy Bowler last week, who uh, led the server in goals uh, in the 1-3 loss against Cincinnati. Butler, though, with a strong start. North Dakota got their work cut out for them as they're already on the back foot again. Kai looking for goal number three. Pass off the crossbar. Doesn't amount to anything on this one. And Buddy Bowler's trying to come back into the blue half. Zoom Gamer gets beat, though, at the midfield line. And this is going to be Butler with another chance at this thing. Kai with a nice pass off the outside. Buddy uh -huh. Bowler just barely gets enough of that ball to send it out of harm's way. Morales up in the sky. Good steal. Buddy Bowler. And just to find the clear, grab the midfield boost. North Dakota hoping they can put a shot on, but no, it's immediately taken back by Kai, who's going to take it all the way back down, puts in goal number three. Kai actually took both the uh, midfield and their defensive left-hand side mega boost on the way to getting this aerial goal, and now everybody for Butler has scored a goal so far, and I'm really a minute and a half in, barely, uh, and everybody is on the goal tally sheet, so... Uh, Fighting Hawks definitely need to establish their identity here against this blue collar squad. The Bulldogs aren't going to take no for any kind of answer. They're going to continue to run this ball and run their offense uh, and really keep earning these gritty goals that we've seen so time in and time out from both. Yeah, it's definitely a squad that'll just kind of wear you down. And with some uh, big haymakers early in this series, you know, Butler could very easily start running away with this thing if North Dakota don't focus, don't tighten up their rotations and tighten up their defense in particular. We see a little bit of a miss there from Zoom Gamer. Buddy Bowler on the outside is going to try to push it in, look for the double tap. We'll find it. Buddy Bowler breaks the zero. Score number one here for North Dakota and for Buddy Bowler themselves. Nice little self-touch there and a bit of a whiff there coming in from Morales. And uh, that's not what you want to see there coming in and uh you know reduces the goal deficit to two now uh not even at half time yet so still plenty of time for the fighting hawks to get themselves back in game number one and you know this transition play is gonna have to be the way that they do it much looking for something in the middle kai's gonna chase it down north dakota a little slow on the draw getting to that ball could have been dangerous but the bulldogs pulled back and didn't really pursue it played a little bit safer here for the back half of game one at least uh at the mid uh, at the halfway mark good block from total sir ball still in dangerous spot munch gets it over buddy bowler that was oh. going in munch with a beautiful little flick able to increase that lead back to three look at the shot friends this is fantastic you know it is i mean it was finesse but it's still 61 miles an hour that's really plays off of the venom that the ball came off the wall, the little touch there from Kai to set it back into the danger zone. Beautiful bit of finishing there from Munch. And uh, I happen to be a big fan of his goal celebration, uh, having the little nom nom monster come out with the teeth. <laughs> I do like that one too. It's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Kai intercepted on that approach. 
Ooh, Buddy Bowler can't quite get it off the wall like they wanted. Ball getting away from him, and Munch is going to come in with the steal. Puts that off the wall. Nice little double tap to center it for Kai. Kai didn't have an angle on the shot. Pushes it back outside. Grabs a corner boost and goes back up. Back pass over to Munch. Butler maintaining a lot of possession through this game one. I feel like the Fighting Hawks have barely had a chance to even touch this ball. When they do, it's just one little tap here and there, and it seems to immediately go back in favor of Butler. But oh. Buddy Bowler is screaming ahead again. Manages just to try and pick one behind the defense. Finds an opening for goal number two. No, that's just a good trailing of the play there. Uh, and it was a triple commit coming in from Butler, and he gets immediately punished. Buddy Bowler will not miss that shot with an empty goal. Um, and they had, a, you know, a good amount of pace on the back of it too, Jeff. So back to a two-goal lead, 97 seconds left here in game number one. Fighting Hawks are not out of this. No, certainly not. Uh, but it does feel like they need to, to step it up another notch here in this next 90 seconds. Get a little bit more possession. Well, well. There's an opportunity there. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for a centering pass, perhaps. I don't know if that was uh, intended to be on target or not. There was nobody there for the follow-up on the rebound either way, whatever Buddy Bowler's initial intentions were. Going to come at it again. Has some boost to work with. Going to the sky. Gets met. Loses control. Kai along the outside is going to get around one defender. Able to get past two. Wins that 50, and the ball spits out right towards the green net. Buddy Bowler is back there to... Momentarily regain possession, but only for a moment as Kai puts it off the wall. Morales takes the shot. That one's going to go. Butler's lead goes back to three. Tit for tat here for the Fighting Hawks in the back half and coupled with an early lead. Butler on firm control of this series, or at least yep, game one. Yeah, no predictive jumping coming out of the Fighting Hawks there in North Dakota. Back looking down the barrel of a hat trick deficit. And... You know, who we have not mentioned very much here in game number one is Zune Gamer. Uh, Turtle Sir has gotten the work done. Shot on goal. Shot goes in. Hello. That's those blue collar goals that I'm talking about. Just gets in there. Is not afraid of the contact. Knows that it's coming. Gets demoed for their wares and gets the goal to boot. That's a hat trick for Munch here in game number one. Just good, honest Rocket League. You can't be mad at it. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. I, I love it. I, I love the aggression. I love the fact that they're willing to get their hands dirty. And it's something that I mentioned, you know, in game in week number two, we had a chance to watch them uh, take down UConn. We mentioned, you know, earlier in our broadcast uh, night that uh, UConn is looking forward to the rematch against Butler. Uh, and I, th I still think, you know, uh, with the uh, with Lamb coming in, this might be a different game. But seeing how they're dismantling this uh, fighting Hawk squad right now, uh, this might be even too much for UConn to be able to to really uh, get any kind of footing against. Yeah, we're definitely looking forward to that matchup next week. Zoom Gamer is going to get one here at the end. A little bit of a morale-boosting goal, perhaps. Uh, but Game 1 has long gotten away from the Fighting Hawks. They need to look towards the future. Uh, just keep communication going. Don't get quiet. Don't get down. Play their game and try to come back in Game 2 and see if they can e equalize in this series. Still three goals uh, on, on the on the game, so you know maybe a better start coming out the gate for them next for next uh, game here in the series. It could possibly go their way uh, if you get up into Butler's face and you start punching them in the face. Sometimes it forces reactions out of them. That's the one thing that we have seen a couple of times here, Jeff. Uh, when we've seen Butler on stream, is if they get the early pressure taken against them, if they get their tempo. Uh, adjusted uh, and not in their favor, if they're not allowed to really set the pace of the game, sometimes Butler will take a few minutes to reestablish their dominance in game. So that's the big thing that I'm looking at right now. North Dakota, can you disrupt the rhythm so far that the Bulldogs have have established? Because we've seen it. The, the counterattack has been beautiful. That's how all the goals really started. Uh, last week against Cincinnati with Buddy Bowler with the pet play out of the back, uh, especially Turtle Sir uh, was able to find those outlet passes going in. Uh, and, you know, Zoom Gamer was uh, getting a lot more physical in, in that Cincinnati match. So I, I want to see that come through again. Zoom like Gamer that. chasing Bunch right now and does indeed bump them off the ball. Oh. <laughs> Bo, my dog, I hear my dog. back. <laughs> Bo is happy about that play. My uh, my little caster companion here. Much in the corner, grab the corner boost, heading up into the sky. But a good play from Turtles are able to deny them an extra touch. And now Turtles are able to work into the blue half. That one swings all the way around. 
As Fighting Hawks just looking to get something going. There's a, a bit of physicality as it's two demos from Zoom Gamer and Buddy Bowler, respectively. Fighting Hawks need to turn this into a couple shots. They're Got a little bit of possession, but still no shots on goal from this. Buddy Bowler's going to get a look here. Uh, that one going about a mile wide of the goal. A better start for Fighting Hawks, uh, but still not enough to get them on the board. Still 0-0 after one minute. Yeah, but they're setting a statement right now. They've sent a statement to Butler that, hey, uh, we're from the frozen tundra of North Dakota, and we are just as hardy as you are, my blue-collar bulldogs, and we're going to go ahead and fight you for every inch of uh, real estate here on the pitch. Morales has to use the boost to get themselves up in that aerial challenge. That was actually a dangerous ball coming through, and a big demo coming through from Morales and Turtle, sir. 350 win from Buddy Bowler to send it back the other way, kind of. Alleviate the pressure created by that. Turtle Point. Sir respawns, comes in and gets a goal. Physicality. Hawks hang on through the onslaught. And then Turtle Sir just flies through the back end. And yeah, some, some great physicality there in the corner. Really disrupted the demons. Yep, I mean, this is what's going to disrupt Butler. And I mentioned it. If they got the physicality going, if they stop the tempo that Butler has started, you know, this is going to make Butler have to reevaluate what they're doing here. Uh, that's a great carry in. That should be a goal. Oh, my God, what a save from Zoom Gamer. Perfect positioning. Yeah, that was a, a rocket of a follow-up there from Kai. Much little fan around in your post side. It'll be a demo from both teams. And Zoom Gamer with the clear. We're all able to meet in the middle. Oh, and get enough of that ball to send it back into the corner. That could have been a dangerous look at a 2-0 lead. Touch. Otherwise... Coming in, Turtle Sir will find goal number two, though. Indeed, a brilliant touch out of the middle from Buddy Bowler to set that one up. It's a pass oh. off the wall, the touch from Buddy Bowler. And yeah, the Butler's not able to get up to it in time. Classic Rocket League. Follow the ball to the net. You never know what's going to happen. Double whiff on the backboard there allows Turtle Sir to bury that shot home, but the flick from Buddy Bowler sets that up. Then really the pass off the wall as well. It was uh, everybody getting involved on that one. Fighting Hawks in a good position. Tie up this series here in game number two as we hit the halfway mark. Kai with a good look there, but it went too far out. Buddy Bowler just in the perfect spot. Make that safe. Now chasing it back down. Has control in the blue half. Ball goes up into the wall. Zoom Gamer comes in with the touch. Nobody there to follow it up. Kai with a big, booming clear. Munch there looking for the double tap. Good defense across the crossbar. Fighting Hawks aren't going to let that one develop. Morales comes in with a pass to Kai. That one's going home. Took a couple and, attempts, but we'll get the job done. Yeah, I mean, just a beautiful high touch off the wall here. And then there's the quick little touch out into open space. Yeah, I mean, they actually had a really good beat on that. Uh, just a little bit preemptive on the jump. A little bit too early on the pre-jump, and uh, it goes in the back of the net. So, Butler definitely not out of this. They're starting to find a little bit more finesse in their game, uh, which is not ne necessarily a hallmark of their game. But, uh, you know, sometimes you have to adapt to what you see on the field. I love this backward play. Opens the field up nicely. Shot on goal. Nice save by Turtle Sir once again. Yeah, some really nice passing coming out of Butler, and that is something that has been a hallmark of that squad. Uh, they really like spreading the pitch out. They're doing a good job of it here uh, so far in this series. And it's been a lot of possession here for Butler over the past minute or two, and it's going to result in goal number two as Morales gets a beaut off the top. I mean, the demo coming through as well also helps right on the goal line, and that's beautiful work out of there and just makes Turtle Sir uh, look like an ornament hanging off of a tree there, suspended in the sky. Uh, it had no shot on the ball there, Morales uh, getting the equalizer there. 90 seconds left on the clock, Jeff. And uh, the tempo has changed once again in favor of Butler. They got punched in the mouth. They went down two goals, but now they have reestablished their control over the game. And really just the room strong possession and, and good passing to maintain that possession. Shot an empty net. Turtle Sir come back and make a save. Follow-up shot. Cannot be blocked. Morales coming through with the rebound shot after the long distance attempt from Kai. Turtle Sir did, did good just to get a piece of that first one. There was no chance on oh. follow-up. Yeah, 58 or 60. Yeah, 58 miles an hour going straight center of the goal. You know, they were probably expecting uh, a 90 shot and they just decided to bury it in the center. Great work, great comeback. 
three on the trot here for the Bulldogs, and uh, they are grinding game number two out. What a turnaround. Morales looking for goal number four. We'll find it with the beautiful finesse shot. Uh, I thought that one might go off the crossbar, but Morales with just the right amount of power so that it hangs and drops underneath. Oh, my. That's four in a row. Morales with the hat trick. Well, uh, UND need to establish the possession game once again. They are losing every single 50 here from about the uh, 330 mark. It has been all one-way traffic here for Butler. So, yeah, we need to see the physicality lifted up. There's a shot on goal. Nice save from Morales. Got the chassis turned around there. Looking for a little bit of setup in front. Traffic in front. That's beautiful. Turtle turn looking for the shot. Doesn't find it. Now Kai flying through the air. Drops it in front of Turtle Sir. Morales comes in to pick it up. Buddy Bowler able to send that one wide. Maybe even a teammate who got a piece of that one, but it looked like Buddy Bowler made that save. We'll give we'll give credit to to old B uh, BB on that one. It does get demoed. Battle midfield. When ends in front of Munch. Munch going up for it. Good challenge from Buddy Bowler. But as the two goals down. Fighting Hawks, uh, well, the clock is absolutely against them on this one. We'll wind down to zero. Butler with the comeback win in game number two to put him on match point. You know, it wasn't necessarily the Kai show, which, you know, we were used to seeing this star, uh, you know, light up the kill feed. Morales really stepping into that role, uh, finding themselves in favorable positions. Kai, more of the assist leader here in game number two. You see that. Seven shots from Morales uh, and kept the North Dakota goal under constant duress. Munch was super aggressive on the physicality there in game number two, Jeff. Big reason why once we saw them, you know, reestablish their control of the tempo, uh, they really poured in the damage and, and the just the, the strangling of uh, game number two. And that's what we expect from Butler. We expect them to get punched in the mouth. They don't care. They're going to come back with their big black eye and then give it back just as well as they took it. And that's what, uh, the hallmark of a great team. Yeah, iron jaw on this Butler squad. Takes more than one or two good punches to bring him down. Fighting Hawks looking to get back into this thing, and an opening goal will be a good start. 15 seconds in, and it's none other than Buddy Bowler, who comes up with uh, one just seemingly out of nowhere. Just happens to snag that shot. It's on target. Fighting Hawks have the lead. It's a bit of a, a whiff there on the left-hand wall. But still, to be able to get the pinch in that situation in a 50 aerial like that and, and just bury it home, Bailey Bull is going for goal number two. There it is. No, it's Turtle Star. I'm sorry. Both uh, from midfield or further back. So just and able, able to catch some empty nets. Yeah. Capitalizing on a little bit of a weak touch, and there's the Fighting Hawks. Making opportunities when they can and making them count. Two goals in 20 seconds, not a bad uh, conversion rate. And yeah, Morales is done with it. Morales is not having any more of their lip. Uh, and uh, we're gonna see the physicality definitely increased here coming out from the Bulldogs, but they gotta watch these triple commits. They have been burned twice, uh, not getting back defensively in rotation. Yeah, but I, I can't help but feel a little bit of deja vu here, Billy. Fighting Hawks had a two goal lead in game number two, squandered it, ended up losing that one two to four. Butler coming back on the attack. Turtles are going to keep that one out of the net. Bouncing back in. Turtles will finally able to clear the zone. Some good contact on Morales, but it doesn't disrupt Butler from pushing the ball downfield. Ball bouncing in front of the net. Nobody getting a finger on it just yet. It's still just kind of dangling here in the green box. Little pass off the wall. Morales with a touch. No way. Oh, it's dangling on the line. And the Fighting Hawks dodge a massive bullet. Oh, after that slick little move from Morales, I thought that one was home for sure. Munch will eventually get it there. With the okay, Munch. It was the, the <laughs> final shot that gets it home. It's the third man for them that has to end up cleaning up this goal, and Munch gets the munching goal there. Uh, our friend Munching Carrot would absolutely approve of that uh, of that goal celebration. But there it is. I mean, it's the it's a relentless approach to the Butler game. Uh, that really gets them that goal. They didn't give up. They missed a couple of, you know, really quality chances, but they just put their nose back to the grind. 
And now it's all about Tenacious D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what I did! <laughs> you had to just get Tenacious D stuck in my head immediately. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. Well, the Fighting Hawks could certainly use a Wonder Boy right now, and Buddy Bowler would be that player as they come through with goal number three and reclaim their two goal lead. What is the secret of his power, Billy? I don't know. Maybe it's a little horsepower. Womp womp. I see what you did there. I, I, it was there. I had to take a two goal lead back there. Still only two minutes gone out of game number three here. Uh, Buddy Bowler has been absolutely fantastic. That is a goal for everybody, I believe, now. Uh, for UND here in game number three, uh, we saw Turtle Sword get the first one, Zoom Gamer getting the second, and then Buddy Bowler now with number three. Uh, here's the push, though. The push, they're, they're, they're looking for goals now. I think uh, Butler might be just a little bit ticked off. Yeah, it's actually Buddy Bowler with a pair. Uh, Zoom Gamer holding it down on the back line, though, with a brilliant save on that one. Kai with another shot, wow. and Zoom Gamer with another save. Fighting Hawks build the wall in front of the net, but Morales launches the catapult and brings that wall down. It took a couple of shots. Eventually, the Bulldogs break through. What an angle, too. Right off the right-hand side, dead center, 65 miles an hour. Just gets over the top of the defense. No preemptive jump going to be able to save that one. So... As we just cross over the halfway point of game number three, it is a one goal game once again. Butler going back to work. UND, do you have an answer here? Well, that might be a goal. That is definitely <laughs> a goal. As this aye, aye. time, it's the Fighting Hawks who leave their defense open. And Kai able to ca capitalize from midfield. Caught the Fighting Hawks flat footed, off looking for boost. Kai says, hey, that's an empty net. Thank you very much. Tie game. 2.15 to go. UND looking to extend the series here to at least a game number four. Butler have been on the back of the foot here a little bit in game three. We saw it in game number two as well. And then we saw the six gold torrent come out from them. So, uh, Fighting Hawks, what have you got defensively that's going to be able to stymie this blue collar offense coming in from the Bulldogs? Uh, that's a good start. Clearing the ball, making sure that you got somebody to look at it. A little bit of intent. I think a little bit more intent behind their touches. Uh, it's going to net them the results that they want to see. Some crucial saves coming out of Fighting Hawks here in uh -oh. this last 30 seconds. But they're going to need to make another one. It's a double tap. It's the pass to Kai. No save is there. Kai sees the tunnel and just drives on through it. Upper Munch. 90 shot to take the lead. Munch to Morales to Kai. That is a full team goal right there. And all of it was near post uh taps off the back wall just back into the same spot where they left it i mean that's not easy to do to get that kind of accuracy off of two consecutive taps off the back wall brilliantly done here by the bulldogs and now with a go-ahead goal to seal the deal on this series and close it out a clean 3-0 kai oh, look at that insult to injury it. gets the reset gets the extra touch just Watching all friends. Musky into the back of the net. That is filth. That's a statement goal. That's uh that's the equivalent of slapping uh your full house down on the uh poker table and saying beat that. I think it was five of kind there for the Bulldogs. No, that doesn't exist in poker, but it exists here in Rocket League. Five goals. Butler with a commanding lead with 60 seconds on the clock. And Morales is going to keep adding on more. Stacking them up. Bulldogs. Oh, my. Oh, my. They're running away with this one, Billy. They're running away with it. The double tap from Kai there completely negates any kind of a defensive stand that North Dakota wanted to make there. And Morales is unerring and bearing it home. Well, that's going to be a, a pull one back for Buddy Bowler. Uh, this uh, hat trick here gives them a, still a fighting chance going into game uh, three here. I mean, they've got a minute. 30 seconds per goal. Absolutely doable, especially off kickoff whiffs like that. Oh, it's something like that. It's just going to boost morale. Communications back up. Energy levels high here for Fighting Hawks. At least it needs to be if they want to bring this one in. 
Send us over to the game four. Turtles are with a touch to the outside. Buddy Muller tried to stick with it, finds it. Pushes it out to midfield, loses control. The third man presses up from Butler. Morales goes oh. to the sky, looking for the shot near post. Missed. Nice touch from Buddy Bowler, denies any rebound shot, and wins out the 50. But the ball spat out towards the middle, right towards two blue players, and Morales is going to get control. 30 seconds on the clock. Morales in the sky, just keeping it up there for uh. as long as possible to eat up some clock time. Kai's going to clear it out. He's going to get it over Zoom Gamer. Goes back into the green half. Midfield line battle. Buddy Bowler's going to win it. Pushing it in towards the blue net. The ball is cleared back out. And this is going to be Butler University walking away with the dub. North Dakota put up a good fight, but the Bulldogs will continue to impress. Moving up to 5-2 and two on the season after this 3-0 sweep. Well, and the big thing about that is, you know, if, as I'm looking at the uh, standings, I mean, Butler was sitting 10th overall uh, in the Big East. They are actually winning. Uh, They're in the number one spot. But in the overall picture, uh, as we head through, I mean, this is going to bring them level, you know, with Seton Hall, Villanova. I mean, this is a fantastic result for them. They're going to have yeah. a 17-round uh, uh, win. Uh, in favor of them and this is actually going to be what i'm looking at moving forward because man i mean they will catapult themselves probably into the fourth or fifth overall position here butler uh definitely an upgraded squad from the 2022 season that we see this fall split has been nothing but magical and it's all on the back of some damn hard work they, i mean they have really found their stride uh and, and, and they look solid they looked serviceable last year uh, you know, it was, you know, never a rollover team, you know, never a team that you would count out. Now that they've turned from underdogs into big dogs uh, and, and the Bulldogs are are celebrating five and two uh, with some good wins in there. I mean, you talk about taking down, you know, Marquette, who has who has been struggling, admittingly, but also taking down teams like UConn, uh, who we just saw beat the number one seed in Cincinnati. Butler are here to play and they can challenge with the best of them. Yep, and that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be all she wrote here for game number three. But Butler still impressing me. Uh, the the turnaround from last season to now, uh, it has all come together. And we're gonna have Kai in the booth with us, Jeff. So, folks, don't go away. We're gonna set up that interview. We'll be back with you in just a few moments. All right, friends, we got Kai on the line here from the Butler Bulldogs. Hey, thank you for uh, joining us for an interview. Congrats on your victory. Thank you. Happy to be here. Uh, so last time we, we talked to your squad, uh, there was a, there was an emphasis on improved chemistry coming into season four of EGFC, uh, and, and it seems to have certainly shown, uh, at least on the pitch. Can you give us an update on, on how that endeavor is going behind the scenes? Um, I mean, we've just continued each week, uh, just scrimming, playing, um, like with everyone together and ranked. Uh, so we've we've been getting more used to each other's play styles like over time. Uh, I actually don't think it showed that much today. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, it's a it's a work in progress, and you know we're we're getting better with it as the what, as the weeks go. What would you like to have seen improve today that you think would have better shown off some of that chemistry? Uh, it's it's a little bit tougher to say without actually going back into the replays, but just through like the feel of the game, it just didn't feel like we were like all on the same page all the time. Right, that might have to do some of like communication and stuff but i mean there's only so much i could say about like a 3-0 like negative because <laughs> yeah you know, maybe still uh still got the got the dub hey but i respect that you know yeah we got 3-0 win but that's not good enough we can do better like i can i can certainly respect that mindset yeah all right so looking at you guys you know you i call you guys the blue collar bears or bulldogs uh, because of your grittiness, uh, and we saw you guys have to display that a couple of times. Uh, North Dakota actually knocked you out of your rhythm a little bit. Did you do you attribute that to maybe the lack of cohesion uh, in your gameplay, or was it that just uh, the Fighting Hawks actually stepped up and gave you a game of it? Uh, no. To be honest, I think we just got kind of complacent in like the way we were playing. Um, like I think if we were like a hundred percent just all on the same page, taking it seriously, I think we could have perfect swept. But that's just my opinion. So, I don't know. I mean, like I I do think they they played better in in game two, but like it was never at a point where I was concerned whether we could win or lose. I mean, they did take 
a game off of Cincinnati last week, which shocked the hell out of all of us here at EGF, uh, because to that point, Cincinnati had not lost a single game in a series up until week six. So um, uh, we were actually expecting to see a little bit more out of them uh, this week. Uh, Buddy Bowler is, is a hell of a player. Uh, did you find it difficult playing and trying to mark that gamer? Uh, not necessarily, but he like impressed me on uh, a couple of his plays, but like overall, uh, just playing their team wasn't wasn't too tough. It was just kind of about us uh, setting the pace and like maintaining offense. Um, like again, he made a few nice plays, but it wasn't really a, a too much of a concern. You're going into a rematch against uh, University of Connecticut next week. So uh, a team that actually coincidentally enough just beat Cincinnati and took them out of their perfect record. Uh, that was a 3-2 victory for y'all last time you met. Uh, expectations going uh, into week eight, uh, taking that squad on. Uh, yeah, we'll be perfect sweeping them. Uh, no doubt about that. <laughs> I All like right. it. I like it. All right, my friend. We're good this week, so. What's that? <laughs> I, I I said I hope Anton's listening. <laughs> Whoa! Anton getting called I can tell. out. I can tell. Though. That's fantastic. It's fantastic. We're so looking forward to that matchup. Uh, any shout outs you want to give before we let you get out of here? Uh, of course. As always, shout outs to, uh, to my teammates. They've been putting in a ton of work throughout the semester, and we've been uh, slowly getting better over time. Um, also, also our manager, Enham, the GOAT. He, uh, he's always here to watch our matches and uh, his feedback and support uh, and of course my family uh mom and sister and dad always watching always Aww. appreciate that uh, that, that family so support means so much oh and astro Astro's the goat <laughs> 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 all right hey man uh well appreciate it as always always a pleasure to talk with you uh congrats on the dub good luck next week thank you appreciate it all right that was that was kai from the butler bulldogs Giving us some insight on that match. Uh, didn't feel like they played their best, Billy. I mean, still looked pretty darn good to me, but I, I, I respect it. I respect it. There's always room for improvement. Always room to grow. Uh, humility will get you a long way. If, you, if you're never satisfied with the results and you're always striving to be better, I can't ask for anything more from a student athlete. I mean, that's just a fantastic frame of mind. I love it as a competitor myself. Um, I, I love it to see it. So uh, definitely looking forward to the Week 8 uh, grudge match between them and the Huskies, that's going to be a damn good series. Bulldog versus Huskies, if it sounds like a rivalry in the making. Before. All right, but that does it uh, <laughs> for this series. We're going to have one more game coming at you between me and Billy, and then we're going to pass the baton on over. Uh, that final match from us, game four on the night, is Montana taking on RIT. RIT got their first win of the season last week. Can they pull out another? We'll find out when we return with more EGFC.